It looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Michael? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. We stand, Director Clavel. Really called you here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the ancient Pokemon from, hold on, running rampant across Paldea. I'm low on water. I should have gotten that. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off limits area was admittedly regrettable. Uh, yeah, you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Oh, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Michael, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. Ah, the Ball of Mastery. If I get a shiny glimmer, I can use this before it blows up. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago, that gift is one we only bestow upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what the badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. You can count on me. Splendid, splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the professor. My deepest condolences. Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my mom had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now. First time in ages. Great crater, I got to learn a bit about my mom's research and what she was trying to achieve down there. Guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? No, Arvin, you deserved better. But also, she was, she was dead. All I know is I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. I'm gonna say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. And my boss, if of course. Aw. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your mother's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. <laughs> You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What? What? Oh, man. <laughs> and let us not forget the other good news. Our academy is a new champion. Though we sadly cannot take your valiant deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, your new champion rank, at least, should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Ooh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. You are on some other kind of drug, Nimona. Seriously, could, could we not? I said Nimona. Pokemon battle contest, you say? Well, while your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, I couldn't have put over here. Gita! Gita done! Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing the contest. Okay, so this is the post-game thing, I'm guessing? La Primera! Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young, up-and-coming talent. That's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. Former gym leader, the developers of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. That's very cash money! Not even allowed, the chairwoman's not a part of the academy. Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aw, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Michael would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Uh, I'd be happy to help. Oh, I, I don't have the opportunity to turn that down. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Michael. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has the brilliance started to fade? On this side, I ask that you'd bring your full Midas champion to bear against each of the gym leaders. Ah, gym leader rematches. They're all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but well, consider it a formality. So I'll also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. 
Now then, on to another crucial matter. Let's discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Oh. <laughs> uh, but there's a bunch of anime that I missed that I was just gonna binge. <laughs> oh, Penny. You... You become more relatable with every sentence. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I did... Okay. I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. <laughs> okay, that's what she gets. She did break the law. <laughs> this is awesome, Michael. Enjoy this inspection thing. Who's boss that La Primera can join our tournament, okay? Enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling up the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. And you're assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Yes, my role's so obvious it goes without saying. <laughs> sure, Arvin. <laughs> oh, by the way, I should shout out the fact that I have some new merch that's limited edition. The Team Sky hoodie is back in black. Oh, hey, huh. And the Team Sky shirt is now in pastel red. Additionally, the base form Mighty Plushie, my little mascot, which is the best selling single item I've ever sold, which is crazy, is also back. But there are not unlimited pre-orders. We ordered set quantities of these items so we could ensure they arrive before Christmas, which means we sell them until they sell out and they're gonna sell out. So grab one or two or all three at mnjtvmerch.com while they're still available. Uh, okay, they're highlighting the gym leader rematches. I am not here. That is a glitch. Oh my gosh, I'm less than 100 away. If I could find just like one more chest, I'd be in, I would be golden. <laughs> Pun not intended, but then eventually intended. All right, we got another steak. I'm gonna try and catch that Garchomp now. Oh, another steak. Pun and these like crazy. And by that, I mean I found two in relatively short succession. I should make a sandwich. Never done this. A pickle sandwich. Sandwich with just ham and butter in it. Okay. Oh. Oh no, I dropped the ham. I didn't know you had to hold on to the button. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, my first sandwich is a disaster. I, I just dropped the ham on the plate and apparently that makes it fade out of existence. I'm waiting until post game to make a sandwich for the first time. It's just ham and butter. <laughs> Am I just putting three pickles on this? Oh no, I didn't know that was gonna happen. I was stupid. It went to the bread so fast. I was gonna see if I could pick up a pickle and move it. is embarrassing. <laughs> uh. Whoa, there one is! Oh, cool! It's horns glow! How come I didn't see one of you earlier? You are huge. Uh, what is, I can't find a good camera angle for this. Oh, there's another one. Okay, clearly I just needed to just come up here. I wonder if the Dawn fan down here crossbreed with the Great Tusk. I wonder if they are, if that would work. Oh, it's got a smile. It's not a smile anymore. Oh, it's a smile again. Well, all that's left is Roaring Moon, which I feel like I read was like a, is not just gonna be roaming around like these guys. So it's time to look that up. What am I looking at up there? The Sneasel? 
on the roof? Okay. <laughs> wow, you have to go deep just to find this thing. And they definitely make it so you can't get here when you first come here, because you clearly need Karidon. Steel beam, oh, cool. Guess I have to keep climbing under the waterfall. No. This can't be right. Pattern on the ground is cool. Ain't no roaring moon spawning for me. It appears to be a rare spawn. Dang it. I'll make him show up. Aha, it does. All right, let's just do this. Surprised he's not flying. Yes, let's go. Dude, I, I'm i definitely gonna fail a shiny fan pee if I haven't already because they're so darn similar and there's no shiny noise. I'm so annoyed they got rid of the shiny noise. The special Eevee event raids have started. I did a bit of those off camera. Oh, down here. Oh, I remember this one. I saw it but couldn't get to it because I couldn't climb or glide yet. Give me the steak. Medium rare, please. This should be the last one. Ooh. All right, I stocked up on dusk balls and quick balls. Quick balls, I don't need, didn't need to do that before this battle, but I should be doing this at night. So the dusk balls should help. All right, now where's the shrine? Higher up. Oh. You know what, let's, uh, let's turn autosave off because I don't know. I would assume that these would respawn after you did something. Um, if you fail them for whatever reason, but I don't want to have to deal with making them respawn. So I'm just going to catch it. Touch the shrine. Oh boy. Oh, it's through. I never realized the stakes go through its face. All right, this shouldn't oh, go, right? <sighs> Why do I, clearly I don't have its defensive statistics memorized. Oh. Aha! Never mind, didn't matter! It can control 100 tons of fallen snow it plays around innocently by leaping in and out of avalanches it's caused. Well, that's irresponsible. Whoa! A hole! Huh. Where is the stake? Yeah, I feel like it was on top of one of these spires, so I think I'm good here. Okay, this has been quite the on foot trek. Really hope this stake is here, because if I went all this way and it's one I've already gotten, I'm going to be annoyed. Not this ledge, it's this one. Aha! Thank goodness. Wow, this lake does not function well. <laughs> Why am I so close to the Pokeball? <laughs> Swim! Swim at the speed of light! All right. And we awaken the beast. I like how it's like, these things caused a lot of destruction. Should probably wake them up. A moose! Vessel of ruin. All right, we can my special attack, which means I can probably hit it with Giga Drain and not kill it, assuming I don't somehow catch it here. Okay. <laughs> ah. Jesus, this is funky fresh. Music is so chaotic. There we go. Captain Lou. Oh, that was the last one? I got more of those than I thought. I Wow, I only had to get, what, four? And I didn't end up going to any places that I'd already gotten it. That was nice. What the heck is this day and night cycle? It just jumped me to nighttime. Oh. That's cool. All right, let's turn autosave off. If 
firefish. Ooh, that glows. That's cool. Splashing. Splashing. Splashing! Pika, show you. Yeah, that got him. Whatever that meant. It casually swims through the sea of lava it creates by... Oh, that's cool. Oh, the eyes, the eyes blink. That's good. Is this the last one? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'd gotten two of them. Where is the snail? Let me see, Wo Chin. As an as angry. Scry. I think it's strange when the Pokemon make noises that are just words. And there we go. Done with the Ruin Legends. I can go talk to Rayford. Hello, ma'am. I caught them all. Michael, did you find any treasures of Ruin? Yes. Oh, you caught Ting Lu, the vessel of Ruin? Oh, how interesting! I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control! Judging by its shape and size, this vessel is almost certainly not for everyday use. Perhaps it was a work of art, or better yet, a ritual artifact housing some sort of deity! So there must be some meaning behind the horns and the designs, designs resembling eyes. Resembling eyes! Could it be that this artifact was fashioned after the deity's very appearance? This year grows even deeper. Ah, my thirst for knowledge is slowly being quenched! Oh, I have to I report all of them. Okay. Uh, Chin Pao, the Sword of Ruin. <laughs> She's very excited. The sword's blade and hilt from form the Pokemon's left and right fangs. I wonder if the sword broke when it became a Pokemon, or perhaps it was always that way? Oh, I cannot imagine the king wanting to buy a broken sword. It was used as some sort of weapon that was meant to be used in this broken state? Street grows deeper, huh? Quenched. I will continue quenching. I've seen so many wooden ta writing tablets strung together. It must have been an epic tale. Most excavated tablets are tantamount to graffiti or simple memos. Simply va still valuable tools for learning about the past, but nothing like this. Can't read it, but given the length, it must be a story. Yes, or perhaps the word of a curse. Only the words weren't faded. How frustrating! These wooden tablets piqued the curiosity of a king. What might have been written on them? The deck says it was the misdeeds of a king. Anyways, the mystery grows even deeper. Quenched, quenched. Chi Yu, the beads of ruin? <laughs> beads like this were thought to be sacred and thus were worn during religious rituals. I believe they were most often worn as a single bead on the neck like a pendant, but it seems Chi Yu has four of them. Four. Were the beads worn in pairs, like on the ears and wrists, or were the rituals perhaps performed by four people? What on earth could have caused the beads such as these, originally used to ward off disaster, to become bringers of disaster themselves? Seeing part of history with my own eyes fills me with joy. I thank you, Michael. This is simply amazing. You have now reported back to me with all four of the treasures of ruin. I never thought that you would be able to do this much for me. You have my thanks, Michael. I would have liked to go looking for the treasures of ruin myself and make them my own. I suppose it was precisely because I sent you someone with a pure heart that were able to accomplish this feat. It may be the treasures of my dreams, but I will allow you to have them for now. Consider this a symbol of my gratitude, too. Oh. All right. You are a truly interesting one, aren't you, Michael? Hope you don't mind if I continue to keep an eye on you. I formed a close bond with Miss Reifert. How close of a bond? Sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be weird. And here it is! <laughs> Golden go. Ah, <laughs> oh, wild. Hello, Katie! Patisserie so berry, I'm here to test you. Oh, is your gym worthy to keep? Why is she the top champion? I beat her. How strong are these gonna be? These better not be like level 75. I'm gonna be kind of ticked if that's the case. <laughs> Remember your olive rolling prowess very well. I had such vigor. It's almost as if I terrestrialized into a fighting type. My life for to go soft on trainers like a nice sponge cake. I feel sad for my sweet little bugs though, since that means they quite often lose their battles. Hee <laughs> hee. 
What opportunities like this get me excited because I can finally show you my true skill. Allow me to need you into submission. That's kind of nice that she acknowledges that she goes easy on him. Low kicks. Looks like you need sweet today. Don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. You have to be nice to me. I'm just kidding. You don't. Son of a... Should have known that was going to happen. But I really wanted to burn it! Alright, no potion. Switch battle style for all of these. Just for fun. Because I think I'll be okay. Like, these are mid-60s, it looks like. Fortress. So shiny. Oh, sturdy. Maybe I'll burn it? Ah! Oh, we're fine. Uh -huh. I knew that was going to happen. You know, I planned for this. What's up with the flamethrower sound effects? Had a cross. Why not keep burning? Burn, Vulcan, burn! So thrilling. Spide up. Continue to burn! Wait, why didn't I do this before? Makes sense to get rid of the psychic type, so I... Don't mind the bug and dark hits as much. Yes. Ursaring. Ooh, that's what you've done with the place. The Teddy Ursa is now an Ursaring. I saw so many comments on my video where I uh, fought her the first time. It was like, yeah, Teddy Ursa is one of the only Pokemon. It's like, or the only non bug type to get the ability Honey Gather. But it's part of it. My sweet little bear, show me your new form as if you were a bug emerging from its cocoon! Eh. <laughs> Look at the antenna on the mean bear. Well, that was really easy. Sweet! Oh, the, I just noticed how molten the head flame looks when you terastalize. Uh, hey, Gita, uh, you need to fire this gym later. She doesn't put up enough of a fight. Skills rival even that of La Primera. Obviously, I beat her. You need to think that going too soft on people may be no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu. Oh, Mr. Kofu's her teacher. Did tell me to put more of myself into my banking after all. I think I may try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. I didn't even realize two of the gym leaders are uh, chefs, bakers, whatever. If trainers complain that the Cortando gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. Hope to see you again someday. Now let's go to the grass gym. The gym that gave me the most trouble of all of them. And get my revenge for the agony it caused. Not only with that really stupid Sunflora, but Brassius was very mean to me. Brassius, you creepy dude. Oh my god. God, he's creepy. You're Michael, no, you're the artist Michael God. Uh, oh, it's the champion, actually. That is of no consequence. Each time I recall our artistic battle, I found myself wishing to face you once again. I'm so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature. I plan to meet with the top champion today, but I have now just canceled that plan. Shall we? Instead, talk of art together. Sure, man. What? You came in the top champion instead? I cannot be bothered by that. I don't care what the reason is. If we can make a masterpiece together once more, then fine. Well then, Michael, are you ready to open wide a door to the world of art? Yeah, he's insane. Avant-garde. Very well, then. Let's head to my studio. This is freaking nuts. Why does he have the thorny whip? What are you using that for? 
Oh, he's on the ground this time. Behold, Michael, the sight of Artisan's windmill. Catches the wind that blows across Peltea and slowly yet powerfully spins ever on. By leaping down from that windmill to appear before those who had challenged my gym, Linton added depth to our battles. Oh, yeah? I knew you would understand my reasoning, Michael. <laughs> Though I believe I can spare my legs today, as we are sure to create my greatest masterpiece yet, even if I do not alight from above. I digress. We are both artists, are we not? No further use for words now. I assume you are ready? Let our collaborative work about to begin! Alright, let's do this. Adjust the mic a little bit. Man, I thought I was gonna fight him during the day. I just ponder what the art we will create together, Michael. Let's fight! Turn one, terrestrialize. I'm so shiny and I got a candle hat. Glad we're killing this thing. I don't like it. I don't like it when they set up. Why does it, why does a flamethrower come out of the arm cannon too? Why do I have to use armor cannon? Zarina, the queenly majesty. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lot. Yes, remember Brassius? Remember when this was just a little chocodet? Because Vulcan remembers. Vulcan remembers the pain in this town. And we'll inflict it upon you tenfold! Burn! Oh, Bolivar! Oh, hey, I haven't seen one of these. Eh, nice. Oh, what the? Does it hold its arms like that? It, it's a wreath! I didn't know it did that. Are you going to move? Okay, it breaks the hold if you, but, huh? Oh! Grass. Well, it's not really grass. That looks more like... Wispy, leafy energy. The Wudo Sudo. My nemesis. I will... Oh, I saw not very effective and got tripped up, but then I remembered. I know what he does. I will armor cannon you! I do hope this work lives up to my expectations. I call it truly Wudo Part 2! There it is. Strike it down! Armor cannon! Oh! Super Saiyan! What? Sturdy, you jerk! Oh! I hate Sudowoodo. I hate this Pokemon so much. Apparently, I can't beat it without at least one of my Pokemon fainting. <laughs> I didn't know it had Sturdy! This stupid freaking rock. This stupid rock. Just. Okay. I did win, but I did not complete the sweep, so it doesn't feel as good. <laughs> oh, Vanguard! Seeing you in the midst of battle, you are like a unique gradient, subtly changing hues. It is near gentle. Such contrast. I like the words to express it. My hat goes off to you. My battles with you are truly a gift. Each time, 
I am made to remember how I felt so long ago when I first ventured into this world of art. Oh, I almost forgot you were here for the gym inspection in the top champion instead, correct? I'm like thinking, but that is of no consequence. Report on my gym is here as you see fit. Inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I'll be at a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. He's nuts. <laughs> Avant-garde. Is our Balava like in the wild at all? Or do you like have to evolve a dollar? Evolve a dollar. <laughs> Kind of fun to say. Evolve a small of into a doll of, and then a doll of into an arbol of a. Where is I own now? My influencer friend. Bird of an electric feather. Primera, your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electroweb. Who's the what's it? I own now. Hello, hello, hello. Ciao and bonjour. Well, you aren't Gita. She sent me instead. Say what? You just became a champion and you're already helping out La Primera? Weren't you just doing your gym test like yesterday? It was like a like 10 or 15 in-game days. You're really kicking butt out there. Wait, so basically what you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to collab? <gasps> More subscribers for me? I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. So will I! Yeah, <laughs> can't pick it up what you're putting down, friendo. So you're here to do the inspection for Gita. I'm gonna give you a show you'll never forget. I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we got down to it. What do you say? Let's do this. Now my footage is. Ooh, I get to do this one at night, so I get to have the spotlights in the background. Oh, she's streaming again, cause gotta. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. Welcome to the Iono Zone, it's me, Iono. Today's guest is our brand spanking newest champion, Michael. You've gone viral among the gym leaders, friendo, and you're all we're talking about recently. Remember your gym test well, it was shocking. The stream's gonna trend like crazy. I can't wait to see the viewer numbers go up, up, up. All right, here we go. Got that camera set just how I like it. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get this battle started. We call this stream Gym Leader Iono Battles like you've never seen before. Da, 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 da. Oh. I suppose I should have predicted this. Not good. Not. Not great. <laughs> Ooh. A switch. Air slash, kill my mushroom. Why did I become Eastern European? Or you could do that. Oh, strategic. Oh, what? That was the ability I didn't want because it seemed weird. I misspelled it now. Mm. When a Pokemon with wind power is hit by a wind move, it becomes charged, boosting the power of the next electric type move it uses. What counts as a wind move? Air cutter, bleak wind storm. Bleak wind storm, that's dramatic. Oh, it's tornadoes. Um, blizzard, oh. Berry wind, gust, heat wave, hurricane, icy wind, pedal blizzard. Sand Seer Storm, Sand Storm, Spring Tide Storm, Tailwind Twister, Wilburn, Wild Bolt Storm. Okay, okay. I didn't know that that could happen from a non-damaging move. Can't. But you can't land your hurricane. Oh, you're dead. So dead. Very, very dead. Sorry, Kilowatt, for like, I'm quite a fan of your speed trees. <laughs> Gotta stay in. And now it feels like a good opportunity to switch back to the ground type. I hope, maybe, maybe it's not gonna go for something stupid.
Okay, we take this. Feel the power of the earth. Why am I not terrestrializing? I feel like I should terrestrialize into a pure ground type, right? Like that would be helpful. I'll see what the next Pokemon is and then make my decision. The Tailwind already petered out, that was fast. Yeah, this thing can do a like Ice Fang or something. Terrasalize to get rid of the grass. The Earth on top my head. There's the belly bolt. It's so jiggly. Why does that activate if, uh, if it's dead? Here's the Myth of Magus. Obnoxious levitating. Michael, quit hogging the limelight and let me shine a bit, yo! No! I like the attention. Oh, I have Hex. I forgot about that. Let's do a spore. A spore and then a double powered hex. How does she hold anything through those sleeves? The lightning bulb. Should take this pretty well. I'm an idiot. I for it's so hard to remember what these freaking terrains do. Oh yeah, Hex isn't super effective anymore. Mm. I just need to heal. Okay, okay. Can this offset the damage it's doing to me with the Shadow Balls that really hurt? Nope. Nope, definitely not. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch here in more than I would have preferred. But now, strong poison jab against this Pokemon with bad physical defense. Yes, the victory. Sorry, sorry, Iono. I mean, you should do a subathon. <laughs> she is all confused. I'm afraid to make a new champion's hot stuff. Thank you. I know. I don't know. And I'm not super happy about losing, you know, but look at those viewer numbers. The Iono Zone's on a roll today. I'm on cloud nine. No, cloud 10. I mean, someone as popular as you on my stream is a great idea. I'm trying to like the internet's mad at me. <laughs> We should collab like this regularly. Don't go appearing on any other channels, though. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm done. Tell our premiere what a sensation I was, okay? Your eyeballs are mine. Caught my electro web. Who was it was that I don't know? Sign enough. Hello, hello. I'm here for another gym leader rematch. Hey, yeah, step right up. Welcome to the cash career for gym. Fortune of a loser! Look who it is! I was expecting someone else! The top champion? Aha! Uh -huh. See Mosquito put you up to this, did she? It was like just yesterday that you were out collecting your badges, and now look at you! Already champion rank! Like one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves! All full of life! What a great catch! And now this, our promising up-and-comer here to test my abilities himself. 
<laughs> Don't worry, this old man used to face an arse reviewer. It's part of the restaurant business. All righty then, you ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called gym leader? Let's do this. That's what I like to hear. Right this way! Wonder if a sandstorm will whip up again. Ever since you fought for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits! Thanks for that. I guess it's no surprise you did so well. Well, with being worthy of champion rank, goodness gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? Some people like yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river, running people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man himself finds that a bit dull. The river flows into the ocean. That water then climbs up into the clouds and becomes rain. I am Kofu the Torrent, ever-changing, just like water. Now come see what I'm made of. Let's do this. Vaulting for loser! Ingredients don't need no cover-up spices. Get ready for fresh raw man Kofu. Breaking the mold. How dare you. I will strike you down. I love how the Thunderbolt animation arcs in this game. That's really cool. Pelipper. Ooh. A battle of the seabirds. One in which you are sorely outmatched. Ooh, wetness. No sandstorm today. But also, no unfainted Pelipper. Glowitzer? Gotta hit that. Hit it with an epic thunderbolt! <laughs> Surprise! So far he hasn't sent out a water ground type. He may not have one. Bug Trio, yeah, and they've only got five Pokemon for these rematches, right? So next should be his Crabominable, and then it's over. I'll Terrastalize against the Crabominable. Don't want it using an Ice Hammer on my face. Well, at least while a flying type. <laughs> what happened to the rain? Back down the hatches of prepare for a storm. This is what makes battling exciting! The bulb bird. A crabominal dress I should think outside the crab trap, I say. There it is. Yes, power up and strike! Oh, booyah. Clean sweep. Sorry, pal. What a refreshing loss, my mind's as clear as still water. Put the pressure on. Guess I should have expected no less from someone with La Primera seal of approval. What a catch! Wildest currents, for better or worse, pulling everything around them and have really wild and drastic effects on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stay by your side all the more important. Phew! Youthful vigor's got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see me, Skeeta, tell her that old man's Kofu flowing and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friend. You come back to see me again now, you hear? He's nice. What a friendly old man. Hello, Larry. Time for a meeting with the boss, but it seems I've got a visitor with no appointment instead. Absolutely something she'd do. Oh no, I understand everything, I assure you. I look forward to our battle then. Oh, of course, it's no problem. La Primera is my boss, so I have to do what she says. Now she's ordering students around? <laughs> Poor guy. 
I see. So you're helping the boss free up some time to enter a tournament at the Academy. Well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. I'd never let myself get roped in like that. Yes, you would. You, you're, you, she's forced you to be both a gym leader and an Elite Four member. <laughs> Let's knock this task off our list then. No use wasting time, shall we? The restaurant where all those patrons were thrown into the, the gallows below. Not gallows. What's it called? A punji pit? <laughs> I was really much of an impression on you. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? I assume my role as a gym leader, so I'm gonna use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normals in plain, average, unremarkable, run of the mill. Pretty fond of them, you know? They suit me perfectly. About as ordinary as you can get. Evil Pokemon? There's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want a shock factor. Something weird, something bizarre. End of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home, even after a fun vacation. All said and done, simplicity is strongest. Okay, yeah, I mean, honestly, it is nice to not have, you know, just have cool for a, while, a little bit, you know? Um, why is that speech bubble up in the middle of the battle? <laughs> Boss takes some time getting used to, you know, you gotta work, you got your work cut out of you. That, that is a little distracting that that is during the battle. <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna Aqua Step first. I want the speed boost. Ooh. Aha! Oh, it's gone now, okay. All right, now I'm at plus two. I'm actually using Quackwavel for this battle. It wasn't evolved when I fought him the first time. All right, let's brick break. Oh yeah. Braviary, ooh. Big buff flying type. It would be wise for me to switch. Get rid of my speed boost, but also not die to a brave bird. <laughs> Look, I predicted it. <laughs> Icicle spear. See a braviary. The done sparse. We stay in. I'm doing this set style. Oh, I just noticed the gradient on the wall. How lovely. This is only two segment. Oh, that thing is, that thing is tanky. I won't KO it regardless of if I get four or five. That close with five though. Ah! Whoa, it inflates? I didn't know it did that. There we go. Here's the Staraptor. Playing strong, aren't you? Well, I was out my best results when it's crunch time. Oh man, okay, Dime's probably gonna go down here and that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna show what we can really do. Same good work as always, please. I don't remember, did he, was Staraptor his ace in the Elite Four battle or not? Or was it just in his party? Yeah, with my attack lowered, I'm not KOing this thing. Yeah, 
this is gonna take me out. And that's okay. So we go to Duck Duck. And Break Break. Kaya! There we go! I wanna look it up. Larry, Pokemon. In the champion assessment, ah, he uses a, a Flamigo, so he terrestrializes. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, he can't terrestrialize his Staraptor, because then it would have lost its flying type. You're a bit too much for an average Joe like me to handle. But I think I understand now why I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four. I mean, there's scenery you'll never even notice if you stick to flat, well trodden paths. It'll do me good to admire talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. Won't catch me doing it for fun, though. <laughs> In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours, so I'll call it a day. <laughs> Love this guy. This gym lead this region has such good gym leaders. So much personality. Hello! Rhyme? Is your name Rhyme? I'm brain farting. It is Rhyme, okay. Well, if it isn't my little challenger, Michael. Bring you back here, baby. Finally ready for that rap battle? Uh, yeah, rap battle sounds great. <laughs> Wait, I wanna see what she says. I see your champion rank comedian too. Okay. Instead of her, I get you. She sent a rookie champion instead of coming out here herself? Doesn't she know who I am? Sorry, got heated there. Don't worry though, you aren't the one who struck that nerve. Well, I was just thinking I'd like to see you again anyway. This is just how fate has it. For doing this, let's do it. Ready to show me how strong all those adventures made you? Yes, indeed a dandy. Now that's the spirit. Come on, let's put on a killer show. All right. Let's fight. I say that a lot. It's like no audience this time. Feels just like yesterday that you were here for your gym test. Now you're all championed up and out doing errands for La Primera herself. Tell me something. You get to be my age? Time starts passing you by fast. I just noticed that her, uh, oh, I just noticed that. Her, her, the hair in front is like a, a skeleton arm. You know, it's got the two different forearm bones and then it's a hand. That's fun, I didn't even register that before. That said metal style's not worth my while. Time to kick a rhyme and hit the flow, let's go. My spirit's burning, yearning to, my spirit's burning. Oh, what is the cadence of this? My spirit's burning, yearning to get this battle churning. You best be ready to begin. The little champion is coming into his own. Come on, baby, rattle me down to the bone. A double battle again. Come on, rookie. Show me you deserve to be called a champion. All right. Terrastalize. I have an idea. Instead of crunching, I'm gonna icicle spear the mimic. Excuse me. So I can break its disguise with one hit and then hit it with all the others. I'll also hex it too. Dark type backs caliber. All right, now four more or three more hits. Okay, well, it's a good thing I clicked hex. <laughs> There we go. Mimikyu is the biggest threat because of its fairy typing. Ghost fairy, it's very good typing. Ooh! Oh, that did way less than I thought it was going to. But we are slow now. That's a big old bummer. Oh, still. Crunch you. I guess I'll just earth power the bayonet. All right. Oh, 
Okay, didn't finish it, but big hit. Phantom Pulse! Oh. Huh. I guess I'll Icicle Spear the Spirit Dude? And I know what I'll do. I'll spore the bayonet because I'm faster than it, but my ability, my celium might makes me go slower so I can actually do something to it. Maybe I should just attack the spirit too now that I think about it. Oh, I'll KO it if I get five. All right. All right, no more phantom forcing for you. Why don't their eyes close anymore? Huh? What? What? I thought mycelium might made it so it didn't care about the ability. And it put it to sleep, it just woke up instantly? The move will affect the target regardless of its ability. But it, it, it affected it, but then it, then it, wh what? And it prevents the Pokemon be, by being afflicted by Sleeper Young. It got afflicted by it, but then it made it wake up instantly. A Pokemon disability will wake up if it is asleep in battle. Well then what's the point of Mycelium Might? If it makes it, That's, that's dumb. That's dumb. Mycelium might should ignore abilities. Meaning, I should be able to put an Insomnia Pokemon to sleep. It shouldn't just wake it up immediately afterwards. Like then it's not truly ignoring the ability. I, that's, I mean, it's not a big deal. Like it's not like that's making a difference. It's just, I don't agree with that design. Cause then Mycelium might like, I don't know, do other abilities work like that? Like what happens if I if I tried to use Thunder Wave on like Limber? A Pokemon this ability will be cured of paralysis if it's paralyzed while in battle. So then it's not really ignoring the abilities. If like, it's like, oh, like normally it would just completely prevent it. But then it like, oh, it didn't prevent it, but then it still cures it immediately afterwards. It's like, <laughs> that means Mycelium Might isn't fully working. It's not fully ignoring the abilities. I mean, I guess it would work on like Golden Go, which is normally immune to status moves. Mycelium might would allow me to still, I don't know, that's that's strange. Aha, uh -huh, wasn't expecting you to rattle me that much. Caught me off guard, just like Shadow Sneak. Sorry for calling you a rookie, hope we're good. Just wanted to prove the strength of ghost types to Gita. I guess I got carried away. You're the real deal, my friend, I can guarantee you that. From here on out, Rhyme's got your back. You run into any Vexen trainers or Hex inspectors, you just give me a call. You go enjoy this big wide world to the fullest, you hear me? Later, baby. Huh? Recognize you? Here to hit the slopes? I don't call the snow being too good today. Here for a battle. Not for real. I got something important to be dealing with in a bit, you know? Ah. Uh, 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 I'm just, I'm just waiting. Oh, I see. You're here to cover for Gita. So your dream came true. You're champion right now. You must be so happy. No, my bad. That sounded a lot more sarcastic than I had intended. <laughs> I'll try to say that. You must be so happy. Don't get me wrong. I think it's amazing. Just, it's complicated for me. That's all. Any poor guy came to test my skills, right? Let's just get this over with. Sit outside. Let's hope it's not snowing. Poor dude. Like, he's so depressed. <laughs> Well, tough luck for you. The Snowy Mountains are on my side today. These league-mandated inspections happen a few times a year. If we don't show them we're up for the job, we'll lose our positions as gym leaders. Guido says it's just a formality, but I've already had to give up on being a pro snor snowboarder. She takes away the talents I still have to show them. What'll be left? Sorry. 
Didn't bring the mean to didn't mean to bring the temperature down. It's simple enough, really. All I need to do is make sure the power of my Pokemon chills you to the bone. Bruh, I think you should probably seek therapy. So that your fulfillment in life comes from more than just your abilities. What about your relationship with others? Your, with your Pokemon? A shift gear. Maximum overdrive! Well, with that up, I'm glad I got the shift gear up. Because now the speeds are effectively the same. <laughs> Sorry, Frostmoth. You are cool. Very easy to kill. <laughs> Actually, why haven't I terastalized yet? There's not really a reason to keep the poison typing around. Because then if they know any ground moves, then I'm, uh... The engine's gonna need to go to the mechanics. Hits ya! Sorry, you big old bear with your bushy crotch. So Titan, I need to catch one of these. Next time I see one, I need to catch it. Sorry, buddy. That is quite the cry. <laughs> the tailwind petered out. Does it only last for three turns? I thought tailwind lasted for five. But it was the frost moth setting it up turn one. I killed it turn two. Killed the bear tick turn three. Killed the bear tick. Oh, it's a titan. Tailwind. Oh no, it is three turns. Oh no, four turns. As of Gen 5. Okay. So I guess it includes turn one. Then it was the turn I KO'd the Frostmoth, the turn I KO'd the Bear Tick, and the turn I KO'd the Satite. There's the Altaria. I won't let things heat up any further. Time to bring the deep freeze. That's the no cloud. Let it snow. Let it pile on top of us. There it is. Yeah! Did it. All right, just the psychic gym leader left. His name, I just can't remember. He admires my passion. Well, thank you. And Gita must really have it out for me. Sending someone there's no way I could beat. No, no regrets on my part. Gave it everything I had. I had you full force and I lost anyway. Made me feel frustrated. Makes me want to become stronger as a gym leader. Pour myself into it. Thought my passion had frozen over, but you've rekindled, rekindled it for me. <gasps> I gave him therapy. Thanks, Michael. I won't lose next time. We'll see. Try not to catch a cold on your way down the mountain, eh? Oh. He should probably still talk to a professional.
Anyways. Let's go fight the Psychic Gym Leader. And that's the last rematch. Tulip, the final Gym Leader rematch. I am here to fight you. Oh, if it isn't Michael, it's been too long. Your beauty has become even more refined since the last time we met. Oh, it's job. Yours as well, Tulip. Ooh. What's flirt? Who taught you the art of flattery? Is my young friend all grown up now? Are you here in place of Gita, are you? Just between you and me, I'm not exactly her biggest fan. That bewitching aura of hers overlaps too much with my own style. But maybe for the best that she sent someone else for the job. With you, I feel like I can really give this battle all I've got. The way, the shape her mouth opens is a bit weird. Without further ado, are you ready to pursue quintessential beauty together? Let's do it! Let's get pretty. Glam me up, girl. Glam me up. Uh, I wish, if only I'd gotten to 100. I feel like I would've gotten more berries. Oh, well. The rush of exhilaration before a battle. Every cell in my body is humming with excitement. Doesn't matter or not. Having a totally amazing opponent such as yourself makes the feeling even more powerful. You know what? I'm really happy right now. Diamond in the rough that I helped to polish is now sparkling as bright as the finest of gems. Seeing others working so hard allows me to work hard myself and never shed a tear. Sadness is not in my vocabulary after all. The closest emotion I allow is the beauty of surprise. Do all these gym leaders need therapy? I'm going to teach you how to do true emotional spectrum practice. Um, sadness is an important emotion to experience sometimes. Can we talk about this? Or should we just, you know, stop it down? All right. You want to know the secret to my beauty? I'll enroll you in my most difficult hands-on course. Origraph, you're so tall. I also didn't register that its teeth were sharp until uh, earlier today. <laughs> Did I just see the sun rapidly exit the sky? <laughs> All right, got the dark type. Setting up the dragon dance as I like to do. <laughs> that wasn't super effective. But this is! I think it's strange that the terrestrialization turns the ocean just black. It's a bit unsettling. I will stay in. Glade is spooky, yes. But I can defeat it. All right. They're both neutral. Icicle Spear is stronger. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Oh, whoa. I just noticed it's sail because it's reflecting the other side of the battlefield, I think. It. Or is it? Oh no, it's warping light around. That's cool. Okay, it just looked like the sail was like a window through to the other side. Anyways, um, once again. Espathra. Lady Gaga. Espa Gaga. Pa 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 poker face. Ma 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 ma. A spathara. Ah. Flawless. Gorgeous. I'm shook, and not in a good way. Unpleasant surprises are not good for my skin. <laughs> not very effective now. But it will become psychic type in just a moment. It's time for a skin cleanse. You'll become a new you. Big ol' eye.
Uh, too bad. Part of me wishes that gym leaders would be a bit more strategic, you know, like intentionally not to rastalize because it's like, oh, I'm face to face with the dark type, but they gotta do what they gotta do. A shocking glow up to be sure. Thank you. Wait, a glow up from like, like a couple days ago? The total package, I expected no less. Beauty, strength, you've got it all. You know, in my line of work, people who lack talent in one area or the other often fade away quickly, never to be heard of again. And with all kinds of setbacks, they fall into corruption and their desperation and end up even more miserable than the mundane do. It'd be better for those people if they never even had the slightest bit of talent to begin with. That's kind of dark. Don't fade away, Michael. I want to see just how far your talent can go. This can, this can be a promise between us. I do hope you won't break it. You did splendidly today. Thank you for everything. All right, all the rematch is done. My toes are cold though. I need to put socks on. I was so warm when I got in here, but I'm not warm anymore. Yellow. Hello, am I speaking to champion Michael? Gotta be Gita, right? Yep. I'm done with them all. I've done a wonderful job, thank you. One of the questions was, how did you get my number? I'm a champion rank. Obviously, I had to put in some personal information. There was an interview. I was informed by each of the gym leaders that you stopped by to see them. I knew giving you this task was the right decision, Champion Michael. All of them seemed quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now I would like the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the academy in the entrance hall. I'll be waiting for you there. Oh, I actually get to do inspection things. Inspection? They were all garbage. Just kidding. They're all they're, they're all very fun characters. Yep. Hello, Gita. Good day, Champion Michael. Now tell me, what do you think of our entrance hall? You enjoy being surrounded by books? I love it. It's good to hear. It was renovated a few years ago, and I was the one who came up with the new design. But more importantly, I would very much like to hear your report on the gym leaders. Now that I think about it, this location is perhaps a little too public. If you know of anywhere quiet where we might be able to discuss things a bit more discreetly? There's a girl in my room. So this is the dorm room where you live? And is this room what helped nurture your potential as a champion? No, <laughs> I was barely here. Ah, oh, wait, I remember now. You only recently moved into the dormitories. In the near future, perhaps I'll pay your family's home a visit, if I may. Anyway, let us get to the topic at hand. I would very much like to hear your report now that you've inspected the gym leaders. I mean, which gym leader did you feel was the easiest to face in battle? Um. Why is there only... Oh, it, it scrolls down. Okay. I would say... I would say Katie. I mean, bugs are just like... A lot of her Pokemon... I mean, they were all easy. Ah, Katie. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on you? I hate to say it, but Brassius and his stupid pseudo Wudo. That's just fascinating. Which gym leader gave you the most trouble during the battle? Oh. I go back. <laughs> that's just fascinating. Next is the last most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most? Ooh. Katie's pleasant. Brassius is annoying. Kofu's fun. Iono is great. Larry's great. Grusha's. I feel like I gotta go Iono. You know? A fellow creator. Oh, I don't know. Those are all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your help on this. The perspective was fascinating, Champion Michael. I have no doubt it will assist me when running the organization. Please accept this as thanks. Oh, all right. Thanks to you, my schedule is cleared up quite significantly. So I'll most definitely be joining the tournament we discussed in the director's office. I'm sure Champion Nimona will be pleased too. Thanks for letting me visit. I should get back to work now. You must be tired. I suggest you take it easy for the rest of the day. No, I have things to do. One week later. <laughs> Thanks to Nimona's pushing and a bit of cooperation for the Pokemon League, the day finally arrived for the great Pokemon battle competition to be held. Okay, we're not counting that as a day progression. <laughs> hey, girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Hey, Michael, just so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. Oh yeah, that's what we decided to finally name the tournament. Officially name the tournament. Good name, right? Fitting, memorable. 
But then Arvin went and said we should call it the School Battle Brawl. And even Director Clavel got into calling it that, so now I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> anyway, how you feeling, Michael's the mindset to do some winning? Oh, absolutely. That's enthusiasm. Show us what a champion's made of. So cool that La Primera is gonna make a guest appearance thanks to your hard work. Wish I didn't have my hands full with all the behind the scenes admin stuff. I wonder if you get to do any battling myself. But I'll seize the chance to do some objective research into what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you at the front desk in the entrance hall. No stalling. All right, so Nimona's not in the tournament. Okay, looks like I just gotta talk to you right here, Nimona. There you are, Michael. You gotta go through the application process with a staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Ready for that explanation now, mister? All right, the rules for the Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random and only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by lottery and the lottery is run by people in charge. And you'll have no idea who you'll be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. The loose ones and you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. Last trainer standing, the only person to win all their matches, will we deem the best of all, the Academy's Ace. Thank you very much. We hashed out the tournament rules with help from Director Clavel. Based on the number of entries so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget, you might go up against the faculty too. They're tough stuff. All right, well, let's do it. The only person allowed to beat you is me. <laughs> oh, it's out here. I thought it was gonna be on the, the one on the roof. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Some of you will suddenly have heard the happy news. We have a new champion here at Naranja Academy. Yes, none other, none other than our very own Master Michael. For real, that's amazing. Where have you been? There was a week that passed. Bien hecho, muchacho. Woo! Way to go, champ. Gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the Academy. This tournament was organized by your student council president, Miss Nimona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. I invite all of you here to see for yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course, the superb battle prowess and acumen of our esteemed faculty. And without further ado, let the Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl, begin! <laughs> He is calling it that, huh? First round, who will the fates pair up today? Okay, Arvin! You gotta be kidding me. Up against my little champion buddy right from the first round. How about it, Michael? Bet you're surprised seeing me in this tournament, right? No. Wait, you actually thought I would sign up for this thing? Boy, I guess you really do get me. I do, Arvin. No wonder we're best buds. We are, aren't we? See, when we went down to Area Zero, it really drove home for me how I need to get stronger. So I've been off doing some special super serious training with my boss to defend my team. If we ever end up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you on the same level. So today I'm here to win. And if it might only be by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this. Armin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. I want you and me to be on the same level. So I'm, gonna, so I'm going after this one without holding back. 67. Oh, that's stronger than I thought they were gonna be. I mean, I'm still higher level, obviously. I, I still should be fine. But I thought they were gonna be like 66. I guess it makes sense that they're stronger than the gym leader. You've gotta be kidding me! No! Well, get, there goes that. There goes that just entire strategy. I didn't get fully paralyzed. Okay. Well, took care of that. I guess maybe I'll keep going and see if I can get through the paralysis. Organical. This thing is probably gonna hurt. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he set up rocks, right. He likes to do that. Okay. No full paralysis so far. Knock on wood. That's pretty great. Let's go, villain. Okay. 
Uh, my skill spears. Dang it. There it is. Oh man, I actually wanted that to hit me <laughs> for the thermal exchange boost. Okay, yep, I, sh I said something. I said something and there it is. Thank you for the thermal exchange. Just hit. Dude. I mean, if I could stay alive, I'll kill everything. There we go. I was only a 25. Okay, all right. We're, we're getting more KOs than I thought we would with this paralysis situation. Uh, his own toad scroll. I bet this is gonna need a single hit. Oh, it's faster. You know what, that's fine. Let's go into you. I know it's got good special defense. Oh, forgot about the stones. All right, with the wide lens, I shouldn't be missing any more air slashes. Flinch it. Dang it. Air slash again. Okay. Cloister, oh, easy stay in. This thing's dead to one Thunderbolt. Cloister has insane physical defense, but basically non-existent. Special defense. There's the Mabostiff, I'm staying in because of, uh, you know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing these battles on set style. All right, this is gonna definitely need a two hit KO. I'm gonna go for Air Slash in the hopes that I get a flinch. Just realized I didn't terastalize. Oh, not a two hit KO. So those great jaws to good use, but we're gonna chew up his hopes of victory. All right, fair enough. Well, we should be able to end this pretty easily now. Just bring in Duck Duck. Close combat. I <laughs> myself a little dizzy with that. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad punching the dog. Sorry, buddy. You're so strong and cool. I'm real proud to call you my best friend, you know? Oh, You too, buddy! Winner of the first round battle is Champion Michael! All right, that professor's kid put up a heck of a fight. A spicy start, and that's only the first match. Oh, the strength of a champion is legit. It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. Maybe I should think about going around all the gyms myself sometimes. You Dude, you'd crush them. Of course you, you should. Better try just as hard as I would have in round two for me. All right. Second round, I'm sure you're ready to hear the matchup, so let's get to it. You're facing Jacques, the biology teacher. Hello, hello, Michael. I hear you went out on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. It's quite the achievement. Yes, I'm the homeroom teacher for two champion rank students now. I won't lie, I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. Gotta work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. He's so charming. Is 
This thing immediately intimidates me, doesn't it? Show me what you got in your own way and at your own pace. All right, well, now I definitely need to Dragon Dance. Or should I just switch? I feel like this is not a good Pokemon for Dime to set up against, so I feel like I should just switch. Let's just go to Duck Duck. Ooh! Not what I was expecting. I didn't even know Arcanine could learn that. Well, anyways. This should definitely KO now due to the defense drops. All right, all right. Get the speed boost. Lorantis. Gotta stay in, but not for long. <laughs> Lorantis is so small. I'm so, I, it's like the amount of times I've encountered a Lorantis bat uh, in battle, aside from in the wild, is exactly as many times as I have uh, fought the totem one <laughs> in gen seven. Let's shift gear. I don't feel like this thing can do anything to me. Oh, I was right. Okay, there we go. That's two down. Mudsdale. Dang it, man, you've got some good counters. I can't touch this thing. Oh, it's so large. I'm not used to seeing a mud, uh, having a battle against a Mudsdale to scale. That thing is huge. Right, it's going for a ground move almost certainly. And also it has stamina, so I want to take it out with special attacks. And that's why we go into a Gari who's going to resist the ground move. Yes. Very good. Giga Drain. Not quite a KO, that's all right. But this Mudsdale, I feel like, has a longer neck than in previous generations. Oh no, it's just doing, it's more upright, I see. Take that little bit of HP back, thank you. Surprised they let battles happen here. I feel like one stray, like, bullet seed and you've shattered some windows. Swalot. Oh. That's in this game? I've not, I've not encountered a single one of these. Must be, oh wait, no. I remember now, it's one of the version exclusives and it's only in violet. That's why I haven't seen it. Slow bro. Gari matches up well against his last few Pokemon. This is not his last one. Okay. Oh, so close! <laughs> Lobro looking rough right now. Oh! Oh, we're fine. A little bit more. Thank you. What is his ace gonna be? I think it's interesting, Jacques uses, so far he has used exclusively like non-Gen 9 Pokemon. It was Arcanine, Slowbro, oh, he's got Foregorav. Okay, okay. We sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? Uh, I use the power items sometimes. All right, Um, right, let's just Earth Power. Energy, and then you have it. Now, is he gonna go psychic, normal, or change it completely? I'm predicting psychic. Aha, I was right. Shine for Rigorath. All right, not a two hit KO. What are you doing? What's happening? Oh, we're fine. I wonder if I can kill with Hex. This is now gonna be 130. This is still stronger. Okay, in that case, uh, just Giga Drain. Got some HP back, so go. Oh, I crit it! Let's go! That's incredibly cash money.
Sorry, for a giraffe. You're very cool. It's very good that Giraffe Rig got a, an evolution. Ooh! <laughs> He's so charming! Oh my god! Wow, you did great! Making so much money, too. Winner of the second round battle is Champion Michael! <laughs> you beat me! You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Michael? You're more fit for the teaching profession than I am with that boundless confidence of yours. I do. Mr. Chuck, did I hear you correctly just now? Uh, uh, -oh. uh hi, Director. Are you agree with me? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get yelled at. Good luck in the coming battles. <laughs> I mean, if he's gonna yell, he's probably telling you things like, you should be kinder to yourself. And the only four trainers remain. Time for our contestants to face the third matches. Dendra! Dendra! Yeah! A school battle ball is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? I'm so pumped up. There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. Now, here's the reason we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. New kid? No. Champion Michael. As a teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lead my students to success. What? Since I am the battle studies teacher here, can't very well lose in a battle, can I? So don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm going to give it all I've got. I love her. Dendra the instructor. Ooh! Time to leave. Have a good, clean battle, okay? Best of luck! I love her energy. Her endless amount of it. Yeah, no, I cannot beat this. Um, look at her moving. All right, click that, no problem. Now, the fence drop definitely means an air slash is safe to go for. Definitely will Oko, I mean to say. I was debating Hurricane, because I couldn't remember Phalanx's bulk. Tauros. Ooh. Oh, she got the Aqua one! All right. I've got the zoom lens on. Let's try it. Yeah! <laughs> Not the zoom lens, the the wide lens. Different, different thing. They both boost accuracy, but they do it differently. Metacham, let's keep going. Hurricane again. And I suppose that was too much to ask for. <gasps> well, I'm very irritated with you for that. Um, okay, let's see. 1.5, so that's 135. That's uh, 160. That's stronger, but I get the defense drop. And that's just neutral as well, just stab. So Shadow Ball's strongest in this situation. Cannon arms! All right. Another Tauros. Is this the Blaze Breed? Kill. I don't care about that. Look at him go side to side like that. Oh my God. How do we gotta keep moving? Okay, okay, we took that, we took that. All right, Oko, sweet. Alucha. We stay in, we stay in. Love for the quick claw to activate here. <laughs> you know what I just realized? Something I like, I don't think I've experienced a single time in this playthrough is something using fake out against me. Oriyama! You got a real fight in your new kid. This battle's really stoked my fighting spirit. Okay, I shouldn't need the quick claw for this. I got it anyway. God, it's huge. I love that they're to scale. And to push past your limits day by day. Day by day, Ozu! She's so cute. Oh my God, the fist is enormous. It looks so much, it's, it's so big on Hariyama. Oh my God, it's the whole height of the screen. Why is it so large? 
What is happening here? <laughs> is it just because Hariyama's head is big? I don't... That was wild. <laughs> All right. Oh. I see you've honed your skills, new kid. Also, winner of the third round battle is champion Michael. No way, I got crushed. I've still got something great out of this battle. There's a massive chance for me to grow. I've not been paying attention to the levels at all. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day too. That's why we're always harping on you kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Well, of course you do. I'm an adult and I know what I'm talking about. Thanks for the battle. Keep aiming for the top in this tournament. Don't forget. Osu, Osu, Osu! Top champion, Gita. Good day, champion Michael. I had a feeling I would meet you in the finals. Hone strength against home strength. Such a class is what captures the crowd. Makes their hearts race. This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As the chairperson for both the Pokemon League and the Academy, I find this situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now, if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, champion Michael. Our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let me show you the full might of the top champion. Is she gonna have that freaking King Gambit again? That thing is spooky. Should I terrestrialize here? I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should just go for... I'm gonna Dragon Dance, I'm gonna Dragon Dance, try and see if I can set it up, see what this thing does. Forgot about that, admittedly. Crap. Okay, that was fine. Sweet, okay. There's the King Gambit. All right, last time, I swapped it out. This time, I'm gonna Terrastalize so it's Steel Hit is just neutral. I'm gonna see if I can beat it I probably need two turns of Icicle Spear. But by terastalizing away from my Ice Typing, I feel like I'm gonna get a hit. Like it's gonna go for a Steel move and it's just gonna be neutral. Oh boy. That did less, it's doing even less than I thought it would. Yeah, that's not a two hit KO. Oh, it went for a Rock move, okay. Not working, not working. Freaking King Gambit. Steel types. Do I need to just, <laughs> I wish I could have five moves on this Pokemon. So I could have Dragon Claw, Icicle Spear, Crunch, and Earthquake. All right, well, I know Brick Break's gonna be enough. Got rid of the crazy hair thing. Go goat. Gotta stay in doing switch style or doing set style. And I don't have any moves for this. <laughs> I'm gonna go into plummet as opposed to armor rouge because um, I know go goat gets ground coverage. Problem. All right, come on, Plummet, land the hurricane. Yeah, let's go. Love it when that works. Voting for loser. Why? A loser? Against the electric type? I don't understand that strategic decision. Unless you're out. I guess she's coded to always use her Glamora last. Yeah, why not do the Avalug first? Avalug, I switched to the Steel type, right? Nitro, yeah. Nitro is also good against both this and Glamora. Don't care about that. Uh, I don't feel comfortable shifting gear because I'm pretty sure this thing knows a ground type move. 
Maybe I'll flinch it? That's Crap. We're fine! We're fine! Do I close combat here and drop my defenses? I feel like I, I feel like brick breaks brick break is enough from this range. It's stab, yeah, yeah. Lamora. Last one. We'll make this a match fitting one for the a fitting one for the finale. A grand spectacle! What level is this Pokemon? I never notice it because it doesn't show it until after it sends it out. Um She terrestrializes it into pure rock. And I'm really good against rock types. Uh, close combat's the strongest. May you shine as brightly as the future of Paldea, Glamora. Unless she like changed it, in which case this is gonna be a little awkward. She didn't. She didn't collect 50 Terra shards, which is what I learned it requires. That's a lot. <laughs> Boom, and it's over. That doesn't matter. Sorry, Glamora. I won the tournament. Yay me. I was higher level than everybody. <laughs> Future of Paldea is bright indeed. My Pokedex has been updated. With what? Oh, maybe Swalot, like seeing it? Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament and thus the strongest trainer in the whole academy is champion Michael. Woo! Michael, you did it, you did it! Michael, 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 yes! Chant my name! Worship me. Hello. You murderer! Uh, all right, guess we're turning around. This is probably a waste of a turn, but you never know. It was a waste of a turn. What's this thing's catch rate? Ah! Oh wow, I took that really well. Yeah, it's catch rate of three. Okay, that tracks. All right. I'm just gonna hit it with the earth power because this thing is a legendary that's only a couple levels lower. I, there's no way this KOs it. All right, all right. Does it lower the special defense? It does, okay. So then I have to be careful about doing it again. Giga Drain should be fine, it's resisted. All right, one more Giga Drain, and I think I'm gonna be good. The main, oh, I thought there were two of me, but it's just my reflection. <laughs> I would just like utilize mine. You know, so like, so here's my thinking. Like I, at first I was like, oh, I can catch this one and then trade it permanently with my significant other who has Violet once she gets the extra Maridon. But then like the whole thing with like the, uh, the fact that like, if you use the ride function a single time while your original Coridon is your party, it swaps back to the ride mode and then it's no longer like a, a battling party member. And for me, I'm like, that's dumb. <laughs> and that sounds really inconvenient. This should count as a cave, right? Maybe I should just stick with the timer balls. This is gonna take some time. Because this thing is a catch rate of three. Yep. That was a crit capture! Yes! All right! Cold ride!